Hi, I'm Dr. Kasperson, and today I wanted to show you what a ureteroscope is. So if you have a kidney stone stuck in your ureter, which is the t drainage tube between your kidney and your bladder, sometimes a surgeon will go up with a ureteroscope in a procedure called a ureteroscopy to laser out the stone and pull it out of the ureter. So I wanted to show you the camera that we use. So this is a disposable ureteroscope, and as you can see, it's a very long, thin camera. This camera is very teeny. And through it, it's a digital camera. Through it, we can see our way up the ureter. And through the port, we have this port, which is for the water, for irrigation. And then the light, so we can see, because it's a digital camera, it goes here. And then this is another port where you can put in a laser fiber that goes all the way through to laser the stone. So as you can see, it's really long and it can go all the way up to somebody's kidney, which again is located in the back of the lower ribs, right? So especially for tall people, you need a really long camera to do this. You're gonna be under general anesthesia because we don't want you kicking, laughing, sneezing, scratching, moving around when we're trying to get these really tiny digital cameras up the ureter. Sometimes after we put in cameras, especially if the stone was really embedded or there's lots of inflammation or we had to use a lot of dilation or skill to get up there, we will leave a stent after a ureteroscopy. Stents are quite, can be quite irritating. They make the bladder feel like it needs to urinate a lot, so you can have urinary frequency. The other thing with stents is it tends, they tend to scratch the walls of the bladder and cause there to be blood in the urine. Not usually alarming, as long as you have a stent in, blood can come and go, and it can make you feel like you have urinary frequency and increased urgency to urinate. Removing a stent can be done in one of two ways. Number one, you can come back into the urologist's office. We put a much smaller camera just through the urethra and pull it out under local anesthesia so you don't need to have an anesthesiologist for that. Or number two, we can leave a string on the end of the stent and pull it out. Kind of similar to pulling out a string on a tampon, but instead of a vagina, it is pulled out through your urethra. Usually men aren't fond of pulling out strings through their penis, so my male patients tend to want me to pull it out with the camera in clinic, but certainly every surgeon and patient has their own preference. So thanks for joining me to learn about ureteroscopy and ureteroscopes.